Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my bacony wife, Laura. I'm here with my smoky husband, Nathan. And we're here for the brand new spicy bacon zinger burger from KFC. We sure are. As you can see, it's right there. Spicy bacon. And it's the bacon <laughs> itself that's specifically spicy. Yes, how exciting. Uh, so this is KFC in Australia. We're from Australia. And this is just the new version of a zinger, if, you know... The zinger, which is meant to be spicy, isn't really spicy. Well, you need yeah. more spice. <laughs> so you've got, you got the classic and then they've got the zinger sort of crumb. And the, the zinger crumb is supposed to have a bit of spice to or it. Or zing, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't really find it too spicy. but it's not spicy at all. Shh. Anyway, this is the zinger, but with spicy bacon and a hot and smoky sauce, I believe. I think they well. call it a chef's kiss or something mm. weird. So the spicy bacon is habanero bacon, which is going to be interesting. I was going to say there's no bacon in there. <laughs> oh. It's just sticking to the roof. <laughs> but there is the sauce, I assume. Okay. I, aren't we meant to have cheese on this as well? Possibly. Pretty sure it says cheese on the website. So KFC, I think you might have missed an ingredient yeah, so if that is the case. The KFC I went to was flat out. I was there for about 15, 20 minutes, I think. Mm. So it was really busy. So maybe in their haste, they've forgotten to... Uh... Sorry, I'm just going to try this smoky hot sauce. Yeah, a bit of heat to it, actually. I would say a mild amount of heat. But then again, I sort of swallowed it by mistake in the wrong way. And it's gone straight to the back of my throat. So not... <laughs> But there's a, a bit of heat to it. Not T tiny amount of spice. Now, and the bacon itself is supposed to be fancy. Should we try a bit of the bacon then? If, I mean, the, the, the bacon is the real thing that's meant to draw you in here. Habanero bacon. Mm. This smells like regular bacon to me. Mm. Oh, yeah. I definitely get the habanero oh, yeah. sort of soakedness. The flavour and some spice as well, which is mm. quite nice. Sometimes, you know, spice, you just get the spiciness and you don't actually get any taste to it. But that's nice. That actually tastes like a habanero. So, um, how about we take a, mm. a bite out of everything? Yeah, we should probably try the burger as a whole. Nah. This is promising so far. Although disappointing, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put up on screen whether there's meant to be cheese. I think I was, because when I, I did a, um express order, and they tell you what ingredients are in there, I'm pretty sure cheese was one of them. Mmm. Mmm. It actually changes the flavour of the whole burger quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Having the extra sort of smoky hot sauce and the uh, the habanero bacon. And there's definitely. definitely a lot more heat than it would be in a regular zinger. It's by no means like blow your head off spicy or anything like that. It's mild spice, at least for me, but I, I do love spice. I'd, I'd say mild to moderate. Depends on how much you, you take it once and how much of everything you get at once. But mm. if you don't like spice, I don't deal well with spice. You're not don't have it, yeah. No. It does have spice to it. Um, this is really tasty. And like you said, it's completely different from just a Zinger burger, I think. Because you get the flavour of not only the bacon and you get habanero kind of flavour and also kind of a smokiness as well from that sauce. And you can taste all of it when you eat it. And I like that the, the bacon doesn't just taste spicy. Sometimes no. when they do that, you just taste the spice, not any of the flavour. That's flavor. what I was saying, yeah. yeah. So but you've got the flavour of it as well. So really nice. It's a nice combination burger. I'd definitely sort of give it a go if you don't yeah. think the zing has got enough zing. Yeah. Um, but again, if you don't like spice, well, you know, just what are you doing thinking about ordering a spicy bacon zinger? <laughs> but yeah. But you're really tasty. You can get this in, um, like, the boxes are on its own. And there's also a double version that you can get on the KFC Australia app secret menu. So I've opened it up. <clears throat> You've got to select your restaurant and bring up the order menu. If you sort of just scroll down and hold it. Yeah, so you drag it down and then you have to keep holding until Colonel Sanders appears. My particular phone makes a, a weird vibration sound when you're in the middle of doing it, if you're mm -hmm. doing it right. Click on the secret menu and then you've got the spicy bacon burger stacker. Well, hang on, does that say cheese? We can check right now. With cheese. Boo. Mm, that's disappointing. Although I think it's pretty tasty even without the cheese. Yeah, and there's so. also at this point, which it will focus, the Zinger Chipster and the Triple Stacker Burger. Yes. Well, so there we you go. We get a lot of comments about the secret menu, how it's not working for people. It is only on the Australian one, so if you're trying from overseas, it will it's probably up. totally different if you yeah. have one at all. So, But it is, in fact, still yeah. valid. Yes. And the burger, delicious. Thumbs up. Two yes. thumbs up. Oh. I'd give it a third thumbs up. I only have two hands. <laughs> That's very true. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Not as many as Nathan just gave, but that's okay. One is Aww. just fine. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every Monday and Saturday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.